Hello and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm so excited about today's show. We are going to check in with some great local businesses. We're going to talk to you about a wonderful school. And right now, we're going to kick off the show talking about an incredible performance. You're going to want to hear what these two have to say. I'm joined by Jen Nichols and Joel Capusta, who are with Oregon Straw Hat Players. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having us. So we're talking about Les Miserables. Now, this is the longest running musical in the world. What is going to surprise people about this particular performance? Well, our performance uh, that is coming up in April is for Les Miserables School Edition. Um, so we have 43 cast members age 18 and under, and uh, it is some of the most incredibly talented kids that you are going to see. Wow, so exciting. Now, I want to talk a little bit about Oregon Straw Hat players that you've been around for three decades. Mm -hmm. Is that right? You all 30, this summer will be our 37th um, summer production. Wow. Uh, Straw Hat players mostly and was originally created to do summer productions. We do everything pretty much at the high school. Um, so we try to do shows in the summer so it doesn't conflict with all the school stuff happening at the school. Right. So it'll be a 36th year, but 37th production coming up. Incredible. Now you've produced many different things, brought many productions to life. So why Les Miserables for the next production, and why now? Um, well, our youngest is involved in theater, and he's been doing theater with Oregon Straw Hat Players for quite a number of years, and he's done theater with other groups. Um, so Joel and I have had the opportunity to go see all these productions and the talent that we have seen has just amazed us and so we thought why not i would have loved to have done lame is when i was in high school and to give kids the opportunity to do something like this and to be along for the ride is just really exciting no kidding <laughs> how do you choose you've got these talented kids in front of you talk to us a little bit about the casting process and the cast itself where did these kids come from um, well, we had over uh, 100 students audition for our production, and I knew I had uh, the budget to have 45 students in the show. So that was really difficult. We um, did two nights of auditions, a night of callbacks, made our casting decisions. We have kids from Hamilton Middle School and West High School in Madison, um, McFarland High School, uh, Oregon High School, Verona High School, Stoughton High School. Um, we've got kids from all over the area. So, oh, incredible. Yep. Really drawing from a wide area. Yep. I can't wait to see some of that talent. So, yep. so wonderful. So let's talk a little bit about the difference between Les Miserables and what the school edition really means. What is that? What's the difference? Um, the school edition, it really isn't that much different. They've um, condensed a few songs down and taken a um, verse out here or there. But basically, uh, I believe the runtime of the regular show is about 2 hours and 40 minutes without intermission. And we'll be probably two hours and 30 minutes with an intermission. So, I mean, they just, they've shortened some things, but they're really taking no content out. We still have the scene with um, the prostitutes and stuff like that. It's all wow. in there. It's all in there. Yeah. So let's talk for folks at home who maybe have not seen any version of this yet. Why should they see it? Uh, theater is a great place to raise your family. Um, Joel and I know this. And it's a great, uh, community theater is a great way to introduce families at an affordable price. Um, going to see something on Broadway at the Overture Center down in Chicago, it can cost a fortune. And uh, community theater and Oregon Straw Hat Players has made it affordable for families to come see the show. Incredible. And this is going to be, a, um, I think, a really great production in the fact that we're not treating, as I told the kids on the very first night of rehearsal, we're, as a group, Oregon Star Hat Players, is not treating this as a school production, not a junior version. We're spending our normal budget, our normal huge summer uh, show budget, on this production. So we're treating it as a full-blown production. It's, it's going to be good. Wow, that's so exciting. Yeah. Before we head to break, I want to talk a little bit about the beautiful and iconic music that's part of this production. Are, how are these kids, are they able to do these big performances? Oh my gosh, you have no idea. Uh, we have a 13-year-old who is playing Fontaine, and she has the voice of a 30-year-old. She is absolutely amazing. Um, these kids are so trained. I mean, they take voice lessons, they do theater all over the place. They know what they're doing. They know how to emote. Um, it is just 
absolutely incredible. I'm so proud of them. Wow. Stunning, breathtaking performance, I'm sure. So uh, you can catch this from April 6th through 14th. There are six performances. Yeah. So make sure to go to the website to find out more. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you for Thanks. having us. We appreciate us. it. Again, Jen Nichols and Joel Capusta with Oregon Straw Hat Players. This is Talk of the Town. We're going to chat with Greenway Crossing Montessori School after the break. Stay with us.